Hi guys, today what I wanted to do is go through uh, 34 different circuit symbols so that you're familiar with what Cambridge expects you to know. Now the first symbol that you can see here is the cell. A cell converts chemical energy into electrical energy. Uh, the left hand side here, the longer side is positive, the shorter side is negative. The way I can always try and remember is that if you look at the actual symbol for the uh, positive symbol, if you look here, it actually, you know, you need more lines basically. So this part is going to be longer here, whereas the negative, you don't need as many lines here. That's how I try and remember it. Uh, okay, next one. Okay, now what you're looking here at here are uh, batteries. Both of these symbols refer to batteries. A battery basically is a combination of lots of cells all together. And if you kind of look at the diagram, you can kind of see, uh, well, there's one cell, another cell there, another cell. Or here, basically this line here is symbolizing that there's lots of cells all linked up together. Now, again, the left hand side is positive, okay, the shorter side is negative. Okay, this is the symbol for a power supply. It could be either DC or AC. This is also the symbol for a power supply, but if you look at this central part here, that line here, this wavy line, that's representing AC. So if you see this circuit uh, symbol somewhere in a circuit diagram, this is producing alternating uh, current. Okay, next up we've got a junction. Now a junction uh, is where you've got uh, several different wires coming in and joining at a central point here. So this is the central point here. Now maybe if the electricity was coming down here, it could go this way or this way. Or maybe you've got electricity coming in here, it could go this way or this way. Basically it's a point where uh, three wires can meet. This symbol here is the uh, earth or ground symbol and anything that this is connected to is going to have zero volts. Okay, next up it's the light bulb, uh, basically converting electrical energy into light energy. Okay, next up we've got the open switch. Now electricity cannot pass through an open switch. You can't jump across here, so you have to close this part for electricity to flow through the circuit. This is the symbol for a resistor and it basically resists the flow of electricity and normally that, electric, that electrical energy is converted into heat energy. Now this is the variable resistor. It's a resistor that you can change the resistance. It's very important. It's often used uh, in the circuit for the when you're working out an uh, IV curve of a different a certain component you need to know this circuit. This is the symbol for a thermistor. Now a thermistor, that word is the combination of two words, thermal and resistor. And basically, what happens is, as a thermistor gets hotter, its resistance actually decreases. So the hotter this device gets, the less electrical resistance it's got. This is an LDR, or light dependent resistor. A light dependent resistor, the more light that shines on it, the lower the resistance uh, of the device. So LDR, light dependent resistor. Okay, this is a heating element. So this is a, a, a piece of equipment that's designed to, uh, as electrical energy comes in, it will change that electrical energy into heat energy. This is a potentiometer, or otherwise known as the potential divider. And here, you can select the, um, the voltage, an output voltage. If you've got a voltage across here, you know, maybe you've got zero volts on this side, 12 volts on this side, you can select between those voltages what you'd like. Uh, very common in houses, most people have got them to uh, as dimmer switches in the houses. Okay, this is a fuse. It's not to be confused with a resistor. There's a line here. That line represents the wire inside the fuse that if there's too much electricity going through, basically it heats up, 
it will break and then it, electricity cannot flow through it anymore. And that's what keeps you safe, the fuse. This is the symbol for a relay. This is the symbol for a uh, cathode ray oscilloscope. As you can see, it's got the, the wave pattern uh, on the symbol there. Now this is the symbol for a diode. A diode only lets electricity in it in one direction. So uh, if this side on the left is positive and this is negative, the electrons, it will let electricity flow through it. Okay, and you know, conventional current goes from the positive uh, through to the negative. Although, although electrons actually do move the opposite direction, but conventional current, if you've got positive here, electricity will flow through. And if you look, there's an arrow here. So if you look, it points in the direction from positive to negative. However, if you set up this side positive and this side negative, well it's not going to get through. If you think if it's going in this direction, and you look at the symbol, it looks like a wall. So if the, ele if the current is trying to go through here, it's going to hit the wall, the diode. Okay, again, this is a diode, but uh, it's also called an LED. Oh, that stands for light emitting diode. Uh, and exactly the same as the previous slide, if the electricity is going in this direction, so if this side is positive, this side is negative, the electron, so the electricity will go through, but if it's going this way, it hits the wall here, it can't go through. So if this side is letting the electricity go through, light will be produced. Okay, this is the symbol for a uh, electric bell. This is the symbol for a buzzer. This is the symbol for a microphone, uh, and a microphone, sound energy comes in here, and then it gets converted into uh, an alternating current in here. Uh, this is the loudspeaker converting alternating current into sound. Okay, this is the symbol for a motor, and it's changing electrical energy into kinetic energy. This is the symbol for a, uh, an electrical generator. Uh, this is important, this is the ammeter, and an ammeter measures the amount of current flowing through it. It has got to be part of the circuit, so electricity has got to flow through it uh, for it to measure the amount of current flowing through in the circuit. Okay, this is a very important piece of equipment, this is the voltmeter. Now a voltmeter, unlike the ammeter, you don't put it in the circuit, you measure the voltage across a device. So, for example, if you had a light bulb here, okay, you would actually connect the voltmeter across it. That was how you'd read the voltage across your device. Okay, this is the galvanometer. Now, a galvanometer, it's very similar to an, uh, an ammeter, but it will point in the direction that the current is flowing. So, if the current was going this way, the arrow would turn and go this way. Or if the current was going this way, the arrow would turn and go this way. And the larger the deflection, either this way or this way, the greater the amount of current flow. Okay, this is the symbol for a, uh, a transformer. Here we've got the primary coil on this side here. Here we've got the secondary coil on this side here. So that's the transformer. Okay, this is the uh, logic and uh, gate. So this is an AND gate. If you've got a high here and here, you'll get a positive output here. Okay, this is the logic symbol for the OR gate. If you've got either a logic high here or a logical high here, you will get an output here. Okay, this is the NAND gate. Now, with the NAND gate, if you have nothing on either input, you will get a logic output. This is the NOR gate, so it's basically doing the opposite of an OR gate. And this is the NOT gate. If you've got a logic high here, you don't get anything on this side. But if there's nothing coming in, you get a logic high on this side.